As the global population grows, so do the concerns about our food supply. With farmland being reduced, insects mutating to avoid pesticides, and weather patterns becoming more unpredictable, a group of researchers from Kansas say our farming techniques must adapt. Ten thousand years ago, when we started agriculture, why we had to tear up nature's nat ecosystem in order to get the grains, the seed bed, to germinate. Well. What we're saying is, is that、uh, that's the beginning of the idea that nature is to be subdued or ignored. The top grains produced worldwide are annuals, which means fields have to be freshly planted every year. Once the seeds are in, extreme temperatures, pests, and water levels can all affect the crops adversely. So scientists are working to turn wheatgrass, a perennial, into a viable, more durable replacement for standard wheat. With the perennial root system, they're there year round. So you don't have ground that's torn up and then subject to the forces of wind and rain, and you get erosion. And some farmers say they would be pleased with an alternative. If we can save our fuel and save chemicals, it'd be a win-win situation. But others say that although there is value in the Land Institute's approach, demands on the food supply require faster action. Certainly, some of the perennial wheat looks very promising. Um, but it's still a long way out. The Land Institute has one experimental variety of wheatgrass called Kernza that is already being grown by farmers and used to make flour and beer. Jill Craig, Associated Press.